You know, one thing for sure uh, from working at home, mm -hmm. it has definitely inspired more remodeling and renovation projects. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I know. You should see outside the camera. My whole place is torn <laughs> apart. But we asked the house is built to show off one popular DIY trend. Yeah, it's called fringe furniture, everybody, and it's easy to do. Check it out. Leslie joining us again for another edition of A House is Built. And today we're doing DIY fringe furniture. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but you're about to tell us. Tell us what the home project is. I am. So, well, a good way to start is to first define what fringe is because most people probably wouldn't know what it is, right? So it's basically a decorative border of like hanging threads that are either left loose or formed to tassels or twists. Fully on a fringe, though, is my personal favorite, and that's used to give texture and color on sofas and ottomans with a more timeless style in traditional homes. Okay, so what is the uh, what is the DIY project that we're working on today? What are we fringing? So today I'm gonna to show you how I added bullion fringe to ottomans and brush fringe to my sofa. For this project, all you need is a fringe of your choice that you can buy either online or in fabric stores, a tape measure, scissors, and a hot glue gun. Keep it yeah. simple, I like that. And <laughs> we'll leave the hard stuff to you. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So, what, okay, what are the steps? Can you walk us through it? All you need to do for this simple DIY project is to measure out the length of the furniture you like to add fringe to. Cut the fringe and then use a hot glue gun to stick the fringe on. You'll want to glue small sections at a time to ensure that the glue for each section dries well and so that your long piece of fringe stays put and doesn't fall. The fringe that I ordered from Etsy for my sofa came in a bit wrinkled since it's made of cotton. So I just basically used the steamer to get the wrinkles out. But the bouillon fringe I added to my ottomans was beautiful just as is. Fringe adds such a fun and classy dimension to otherwise plain pieces of furniture. And it's looking good. Okay, I know you always have something helpful for our viewers. Do you have any kind of tip that you can help us with uh, at this part of the project? Yes, so a helpful tip is just to allow yourself to be creative and unique in your style and more importantly, have fun. Don't be afraid to try new things like adding fringe to furniture. And remember, if you ever change your mind about something later, you can always change it up. So don't feel like a design choice has to live with you forever. You can change up paint anytime, change up designs, change up fabrics. I love the look of fringe used in different ways. As I had mentioned earlier, I used fringe on furniture, linens, and drapes. And I also have it on pillows, rugs, and wall decor around the house, too. You can really make a piece look custom with a designer's touch by a simple addition like this, no matter what style you decorate. Mm -hmm. There's going to be somebody out there that says, eh, I don't really want to do it, but I want it. So how do they get in touch with you and, and, uh, and see all the stuff that you're doing? Easiest way is to follow me on Instagram where I share my home staging and interior design projects as well as DIY projects at my own home on my stories, highlights, and posts. You can send me a message there at a house is built with underscores between each word, or you can email me at a house is built at gmail.com. We're looking forward to working with you to help create spaces that you love. That's perfect. You know, and I've gone to your site too to look at some of the stuff that's super helpful. And there's a ton of stuff that I think I could tackle. So thank you again. DIY you, Fringe Furniture. There you have yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks, John. And now you know. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. I mean, super easy. And it does, look at all the stuff that she yeah. did. It really makes it, plus you can, if you walk by, you can kind of, Swat at the tassels and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's always fun to go make make it go yeah. and then add some like, harp music. To yeah, it. in my opinion, it kind of <laughs> it elevates home decor. Yeah. It kind of gives me that royal palace feel. Mm -hmm. You know, with like the gold and like the like Aladdin kind of thing. I, I know. I, what you're I know what you're talking about. Like the fine carpet. John would yeah, never exactly. leave. No, yeah, no, no totally. Uh, Tanya doesn't cook, but that's something you could do, huh? The French furniture. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it a try. Well, I mean, because you learned how to DIY. use you learn how to use the hammer and the drill now. Oh, yeah. You're kind of learning all the stuff. Oh, at home. I, no hammer, yes, drill. No, I haven't conquered the drill yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya's a hammer at the yeah, gym. She is a hammer. She is a hammer. <laughs> uh, okay, we speaking of hammer. We got some.